Okay, this is an explanation for half-lives. I'll try to do a couple problems here. What you're looking at right now is ba the basic equation regarding half-life. Amount remaining is equal to initial amount times one-half to n power, where n is basically your time elapsed divided by your length of your half-life. So how much time is, um, are they talking about, and what is the length of a half-life? So you're just basically finding out how many half-lives on the time they have allotted to you. And then that gives you basically your number of half-lives. So let's do an, uh, an example we saw in class was this one. The half-life of radium is 3.66 days. So in this case, half-life of radium being 3.66 days is our big T. What was the original mass of radium if 0 0.05 grams remains after 7.32 days? 7.32 is our time elapsed, our little t. So that will give us n, and I'll do that in a second. And keep in mind, they're asking us what was the original mass. They're not asking us what is the amount remaining. They're asking us what is the initial amount. This they gave us. That is our variable that we have to find out. So we set this up as zero point zero five zero zero is equal to our original amount. So we'll call this our x times, I'm just following that equation now, one half n. And you know what? I'll make n a different color. To calculate n, it's little t divided by big T. Let me double check that. Yep, little t, big T. Little t is time elapsed. Big T is length of half-life. So that's equal to time elapsed is this number right here, 7.32. Divide by your half-life, this number right here, 3.66. This is a whole number of two. So n is just 2, so you plug that right in to here. So let's go ahead and plug that in. 2. So now we're just looking for what is x. That's what we're trying to figure out here. So 1 half to the second power is just 1 half times 1 half. So let me simplify this a little bit. x times 1 half times one half. A half of a half is a fourth, right? So let's break that down even more. One fourth. One fourth is just 0 0.25. Zero point two five. From here, you can probably get it yourself. Divide each side by zero point two five. By and x comes out to be um, zero point two five uh, to be zero point two. Let's see here. Let me double check that. Zero point zero five doubled once is zero point one. Then 0 0.1 doubled again is 0 0.2. So yeah, that's right. And that's in grams. Not too bad. That's just using the straight up equation, just plugging it in, knowing where to plug in what. Now, if you want, if you have trouble with mathematics, you could really look at this as. Um, you could honestly, you could, you could probably break down this problem and, and, and it has a word problem. You could say, okay, well, I have, I, first, I, no matter what, you gotta find out how many half-lives you have, no matter what. So you gotta figure out how many half-lives are in the days they give me. So that's how many of these are in this. So if you wanted to keep it simple, you could say, okay, 3.66 plus 3.66 this would be one, two half-lives. 
you add those together, you get 7.32. So you know, no matter what, you have two half-lives. You have two half-lives involved somehow in this equation. I think the trick here is knowing that they're asking for what was the original mass, not the ending mass. They're asking for what was the original mass. So this, that means this number they give you is what you end up with. That's what you end up with. So if you work your way backwards, uh, normally we would take this number and we'd say, here's what we do normally with, with other half-life problems. Simpler half-life problems, we would say, okay, this number times one-half, and since we have two half-lives, times one-half. But wait a minute, they're asking for the original mass. So it's not times one-half, it's times the opposite of one-half. The opposite of one half, the reciprocal of one half is two over one, that's just two. So it's actually times two times two. So this guy doubled is zero point or point zero five doubled is zero point one. Zero point one doubled is zero point two. So your answer is zero point two grams. That's just another way to look at it, just to try, try to explain the word problem as a word problem. One more. Um, exactly one-sixth of a given amount of protactinum, 234, remains after 26.76 hours. What is a half-life? Now, in this, in this case, you've got to take advantage of the fact that they're not even giving you an amount. They're just, giving you, they're just telling you one-sixth. So they're not even giving you an amount. They're just saying one-sixth of a given amount. And they're telling you your total hours. So you say to yourself, okay, um, I have one-sixth is what I end up with. So you could, if you wanted to, you could imagine that your original amount was 100. You could say it's 100 grams. What's one sixth of one hundred grams? All right, so one sixth of one hundred grams is six point two five grams. So we're just we're just guessing. We're just going to say okay. We'll just say 100 grams just to, because that's a good even number to start with, and you can just say that, it's a, that's an example of your sample. So we can say, okay, so if, if we did start with 100 grams, one six of 100 grams is 6.25 grams, all right. So how can we figure out the half-life from this? Well, figure out how many half-lives it took to get from 100 to 6.25. So just go in reverse. Okay, so if you, you halving every time, all right, so 50 is one, 25 is another, 12.5 is another, and then 6.25 is there. So that's one, two, three. Three half-lives. One, two, oh, excuse me, four. As we went from 100 to 1, 2, 3, Yep, okay. So we had four total half-lives involved here. So in this amount of time, this substance went through four half-lives. So now all you got to do is say, okay, this is 26.76 hours divided by four half-lives. We're just going to divvy up the hours. Let me plug this into a calculator. 6.69 hours. That is your half-life that they want you to figure out. This one's a little more difficult because you have to, you have to really understand half-life to uh, break it down. So you have to understand, the, uh, you have to really have understanding. 